What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper 2. If you're enjoying this series, make sure to leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we finished up our Barn Dominium project. So today, it's time for us to start something brand spanking new. And the property that we're going to be purchasing is none other than T. Martin's Mansion for $316,000. Let's go check it out. I already know this is going to be super trippy for me because my wife and I have watched literally every episode of Super Cooper Sunday, both on T. Martin 2 and on the dedicated channel. We have a golden as well, so watching those is just real relatable. I don't know what it is with golden retrievers, but they're all so similar. It's honestly kind of crazy. Also, today would have been my childhood golden retriever's birthday, so we're really, we're really doing this for her. But let's head on inside. And we'll check this place out. I don't know if this is a developer's recreation of his house. Or if this was like a mod IO thing that the devs just kind of added to the game. I have I have no idea. But based off of what I've seen thus far, they did a dang good job. I mean, they've even got the rocks underneath the, underneath the staircase here. Now, obviously, I've never actually been inside T. Martin's house, but just because of Super Cooper Sunday, we have been able to see quite a bit of the inside. And I'm guessing that's how whoever made this was able to make this. So through this bathroom, there should be the guest bedroom back in here. That checks out. This should go back out to uh, the main staircase area, main entrance. There should be a big chest of toys for both Coda and Cooper over here, but... That might be something that we're going to have to add on our own. And then there should be another garage. There should be another garage over here. Okay, here we go. And then I always thought I always thought that this was T. Martin's office room. But maybe not. I thought that this was going to be a closet, but we've got another full bathroom. So two full bathrooms on just the main floor. And then in the kitchen, this should be the pantry. Yep. Sure is. Okay, that is the main floor then. Let's head upstairs. We will actually start cleaning. It's very dirty. What happened? Honestly, what happened in here? Okay, and then we have a, a washer, a dryer. This is the laundry room. Gotcha, just at the top of the steps here. A hallway closet. And then through this door is... Ah, this. This is where they've put... T. Martin's office. Okay. Interesting. Like I said, I, I could have swore that his office was on the main floor. But maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe it was once upon a time and he's since moved it downstairs. I have no idea. He's got a bunch of games in here, though. Spare monitor as well. Games just overflowing out of the shelf. He's got so many. PC dual monitor setup. Okay, okay. And we've got an extra chair in here as well. Some speakers. Lots of trash, though. And lots of booze bottles. As far as Super Cooper Sunday goes, we haven't really seen that much of the upstairs. Everything that they film is, is typically on the main floor, maybe outside. Speaking of outside, dude, we haven't even checked out the backyard yet. I wonder if the pool's back there. Got a closet here. Okay, so another, another guest bedroom. Gotcha. See, so didn't even know that that was there. Honestly, had no idea. We have another full bath in the in the hallway. And then this is the master bedroom. I believe we've seen a couple of clips in here as well. Got the shower. Big soaking tub. Toilet has its own separate room. That's really nice. Kind of wish I had that in, uh, in my own personal home. But yeah, dude, there's just loads of garbage everywhere. Ooh, I see it. I see the pool. Okay, we got to make our way back downstairs then. And the steps, I already know I want to change the steps because those aren't entirely accurate. I feel like there's another staircase design that would that would work a little bit better. But let's head back here. They they do kind of have what resembles the pool, but it's not actually a pool. Come to think of it, we can't add pools in House Flipper 2, can we? And of course, there are no lots that are, you know, backed up to a lake, so we're not going to have the dock or anything like that back here. But I think whoever made this did a stellar job, dude. It's so crazy that they've that they've been able to like recreate a content creator's home in game. The pool is, yeah. The pool's all right. I do wish I do wish we actually had 
a, a pool that we could put back there, but that's okay. Okay, uh, where the heck do we even start? Dude, there's just so much garbage here. I guess we'll start outside. I'll uh, rotate this trash can upright. That way we can throw some trash bags into it. But let's, let's get after it, shall we? Oh, we've got some paw prints here as well. Those are definitely Coda's paw prints. Those things are absolutely massive. And then... I want to say this is the garage where he keeps his GTR. Doesn't he have a GTR? I don't even know why I'm trying to ask you guys in real time. Uh, this is a pre-recorded episode. I've been doing a lot of streams lately, so... Uh, you know, a little, little confused there. A little confused. I mean, maybe they had just had a party, which would explain all the empty pizza boxes and everything. Okay, we've got our first... Oh, there's more trash. Or more trash cans right here. Put that in there. Nice. But yeah, maybe they maybe they just had a big party or something. Not really sure. Personally, if if I were the one to have built this whole thing, I feel like I would have set it up instead of having just trash everywhere. I would have set it up for like a um hold that thought. Got another got another full trash bag. I would have set it up like a hurricane cleanup type thing cuz they're they're based in Florida. I feel like that would make a little bit more sense than just throwing a bunch of trash everywhere, but again, I'm, I'm just not really sure what the story behind all this really is. I'd be curious to see if... I don't, I don't watch T. Martin play games, uh, obviously, but I'd be curious to see if he's flipped his own house in House Flipper yet. That I would watch. I don't typically watch a lot of people play games. You guys know that. But Super Cooper Sunday, uh, wife and I were all about that. For sure, for sure. I don't think they've made any new episodes of that in quite some time either. At least a year, surely. We just have a little bit more trash to clean up here. Let's get that shut. Actually, we can put we can put this bowl up there. Assuming it's clean. Doesn't need to be run through the dishwasher. And then there's just a white... Why is only one of... Okay, just one of them is white. Interesting. Interesting. Loads of dirt everywhere, though. These windows and doors are going to be a lot of fun to clean up. The fireplace even has some stuff on it. I mean, this is just... This is just unreal, man. Also, no love sack? I guess they don't really have a big enough oof in the store that would, uh, that would resemble the love sack. Cooper's favorite spot that he's not supposed to lay. But he's always found there. It's a golden thing. I think that ought to about do it for all the trash outside the property. We've got some footprints leading us back inside. Oh, they go all the way inside, too. Let me check this other garage over here for additional trash. Looks like we're good here. Just need to, you know, scrub-a-dub-dub -dub the floors a little bit. Got some additional trash in the guest bedroom. See, I could have swore. I could have swore that this is T. Martin's office. But maybe I'm wrong. And like all the plants in the house are completely dead too. Here's a possible storyline. All right, hear me out. Maybe Treb and Chels left on one of their cruises, but they left the boys home and Cooper and Coda, the dogs, are the ones that ordered all the pizza. It could happen. It could happen. I don't think there was any trash in either of those rooms. This is where a lot... And I mean a lot. A good majority, really, of, of all the trash is at. Okay, there's a full bag. We'll just chuck that out into the hallway. Got a little bit more back here. Okay, that should be all of it. Let's just throw this down at the base of the steps. That way we can take care of it a little bit easier. Nothing in the bathroom. Some more empty pizza boxes up here. There are only so many things of trash that can be placed in the house, too. So maybe pizza boxes would just... Kind of a kind of an easy out for whoever actually designed this whole thing. Moving on into the master bedroom. We've got some some takeout boxes here. Bunch more pizza boxes as well. This thing, same deal. Up and over the railing. Perfect. Nailed it. Some trash behind the, the mirror right there. Another like white handle. I wonder if the I wonder if they just forgot to change the color of those. Well no, these are white too. So maybe that, maybe that one's intentional. But I think that should be all the trash then. Cleaned up upstairs. Let's head back down. 
We'll get out our, our handy dandy scrubbing brush and we'll get after it. I, I don't really think that there's too much that we need to do here in order to resell it. There's there's a couple of a couple of changes I think that we should make, like the like the staircase, for example, just to make it a little bit more on par with how the house actually looks. That should be all the scrubbing that we have to do, but everything seems to be all cleaned up both inside and out. So what I want to do now is just kind of go around and pick some stuff up. You know, we've got these chairs knocked over, we've got a lot of dead plants in here. So we're going to go ahead and just take care of those real quick. As for all the like stray booze bottles, I think I'm just going to kind of start making a pile of them over here in the in the little bar in the corner there. I mean, there's really no sense in throwing out all this booze. Oh, it just clicked. Maybe, maybe this was a subscriber milestone party. Hence all the pizza and the booze and stuff. Actually, let's just put these into here and then we'll sell off this extra crate. There we go. So these guys, all the, all the crates of booze, I'm just going to bring down from the office and we'll put... We'll put it out here. We'll make some room on these shelves for it. Or wait, will they even fit on the shelves? Probably not. They're pro yeah, they're too deep. Okay, so we'll just we'll just start lining the wall with some crates of booze, I guess. Okay, now that we have that taken care of, you know, I haven't turned on any lights in this property at all yet. That's kind of something that we usually do, right? We go around and we we turn on every single light in the property, try to waste as much electricity as possible. Is this a light as well? Oh, it's probably exterior light. Okay, we'll get that clicked on as well. Let's see, is there a light out here? No. Okay, no clue what that light switch does then. We've got some some additional little like orbs out here. Is there a switch for those? Okay, that's gonna turn that on. No idea. No idea. Maybe they just forgot to wire those up. Are there any others? Yeah, there's one right back here. I think just those two then. We'll just we'll just turn those on manually instead. Any other lights? Oh yeah, tons still, dude. Tons. The garage lights too. The boxes I think we'll probably just keep in here. I mean, what's what's getting rid of those really going to do for us? You know what I'm saying? We'd make a couple of extra cents for the for the job overall. Make sure we've got lamps turned on too. Sconces. There we go. 
I'm not kidding you guys. Working on this property really is super trippy for me. Again, just because of Super Cooper Sunday. It feels like I've actually been here before, even though I definitely have not. Although that would be kind of sick. T. Martin, hit your boy up. I'm super lame, but uh, we could be homies. That ought to do it for the Vigia game storage. Let's see what else we could do in here. I'm probably just going to get rid of that extra chair, and then we'll fix the speakers so that they're behind this desk chair. I think that's probably all we really need to do in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the posters on the wall. I don't think those look too bad. We could pick up the towels in the laundry room or just, like, sell them just so there's no clutter in there. That's probably probably a little bit better. And we'll turn on some lights in this bathroom as well. That looks good. I feel like maybe we have too many lights on in the house now. The lighting system is kind of starting to wig out a little bit. Normally the lights don't turn on and off when you enter and exit a room, right? This is like normal function, and then we come back over here. Something ain't right there. Something ain't right there. But moving on, uh, we have the master bedroom that only has a light up there. I guess, yeah, you wouldn't be able to put any recess lights in the ceiling because it's angled due to the, the roof line. So that checks out. We've got some uh, end tables, nightstands with some lamps on them, though. Yep, I kind of had a feeling that was the channel that would be on the TV. That's one of my favorites as well. Okay, perfect. All the lights are on except for that one and the one where the toilet is. Okay. Looking good, dude. Looking good. Also, we didn't even we didn't even go over this, but I, I stumbled upon it while I was cleaning up. They got a walk-in closet over here that is absolutely massive. If my wife saw that, she would be very, very jealous. But um, I think that's probably about all we need to do up here as well. I don't think there's really anything else that needs to be like picked up up there. Oh wait, plants. Are there any plants? I don't think he had any in his office. Yes, but those... I don't know if that's a birds of paradise or what it is, but um, that looks healthy. Up there, also good. Bedroom. No plants. Okay. Yeah, we're golden then, dude. I want to I wanna change the staircase, though. As I mentioned earlier, I feel like there's probably a better option for there. We might actually have to just sell the steps. Let me make sure that there is a better staircase option. Yeah, see, this is what I was thinking of, though, because I'm pretty sure this is how it actually is. It's kind of open, uh, like the back of the step is is open. So let's try that. Well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to delete this first, unfortunately. Hopefully this doesn't screw anything up and we'll be able to replace that, no problem. Sometimes it can be a little weird. So we'll start there, go to here, and then just come down. Oh yeah, no issues whatsoever. See, that's that's more accurate. That's more true to how the home actually is. I wonder if they didn't go with this step though because of this bit right there. But if we add a little bit of a temporary wall right there, we might be able to get it to line up a little bit better. There we go, okay. I like it. I like it Picasso. Uh, now though, we do need to just kinda smash that, demolish that little bit right there. That's what I'm talking about. That looks quite a bit better. Okay, now though, let's see if we could change the style of this a little bit. Open A, what does open B do? No idea. Closed? Oh no, that's not what we want at all. Okay, so that's gonna be like the sides of the steps. A and B is exactly the same, so we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, the base does need to be changed as well, but I need to figure out, I need to figure out what wood type they were using for this before. What even is that? Warm wood, red cedar panels. Here's warm wood. We've got red cedar right there. Perfect. Okay, now it at least matches. I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Stair railing was... Which one? This one? Yeah, that looks right. Looks the same. We're gonna slap some of the same paneling now on the underside, the front, the back, the whole nine. Try to make it 
look as good as we can. There we go. All right. I dig it. Again, I just I just feel like this is more accurate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we do still have to do the same thing now to this staircase as well. So we're just going to sell that guy off. But now we have this guy that we can just duplicate. And we'll see if we can't drop it in over here. We're probably going to have to change the size of it too, no? Can we do that? Here we go. Bring it down. About there is probably good. And then this needs to go down to right about there, I think. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I think we kind of nailed that. I think that looks way better than it did before. Is there anything else that we really need to do to this place? I mean, now that it's all clean, we can kind of just leave everything the way it was. I mean... Do we really need to redo their entire kitchen? You know, they did they did remodel. I don't know if it was a recent thing, but I, I do remember them um, preparing to do a remodel at the very least. I'm going to copy the style for this cabinet quick and just make sure that that other little handle is, is the same color as all the other ones. But yeah, that's probably all we really need to do to this place before we turn around and sell it off. So... We bought it for what, $316,000? We sold $519 worth of stuff, and we only spent $242 on renovations. So let's put it up for auction, and we'll see how much we're gonna make from this thing. Honestly, a lot better than I was expecting. 375,000, which puts 59,000 in our back pocket. Absolutely. There we go. And now we have our before and afters. Though with this one, it's just, it's going to be same, same, but clean. And now all the lights are on as well. That's really the reason we turn all the lights on in the houses. So when we have the before and afters, it's illuminated, right? It, it looks good. But yeah, tons of pizza boxes that were once like covering the, the walls, the floors, the ceiling even. That's all been taken care of, all cleaned up those windows as well you can really notice it in in that photo for sure there's our staircase see that was a good change right if you're familiar if you've seen super cooper sunday or any other like vlog type thing that t martin has, has maybe done you've probably seen his house before i feel like i feel like we did a good thing with the steps there i really do also probably could have moved his office from the second floor down to the main floor, which again is where I think it actually is. But who knows? Only one that really knows for sure is T. Martin himself, right? And with that, that brings us up to $1 million now, chilling in the back pocket. This is probably going to be a bit shorter of an episode than you guys are used to, but I do hope you enjoyed nonetheless. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.